Hello, Mr. Andy here. Uh, we're continuing on in our geometric construction unit. And to, I'm going to quickly show you uh, how to construct, or at least partially construct, uh, assignment 6 and 7. Uh, refer to your handout. Uh, you need to be looking at the figure in your textbook for 6 and 7. So refer to your handout. Uh, we're going to start number 6 first. Um, so you need to have that open on your desktop. So pause and open your book up if you don't have it open. Now, when you uh, look at that figure, it has three circular features uh, connected by three long arcs. And uh, we're going to begin by finding the centers for those three circular features. So I'm going to start a, a new file. And we're going to use the metric laser template. And here I am in my drawing space. And I'm not going to use uh, absolute coordinates here. Um, so we're just going to start anywhere. So I'm actually just going to go to the line tool and I'm just going to drop a point wherever. Um, now it's over 76 and up 63 to the other center point, the first one. So I'm just going to go at, that's uh, from the last point, uh, 76 comma 63 and hit enter. And that would be the center point for that second circle. My third center point is down uh, and over to the right. So I'm going to go at, it's over 25, comma, and it's down 53. So negative 53 and hit enter. Now I could start drawing my circles from these center points. I'm not going to actually put in the sizes. I just want to give you this idea of how that would create and carry on from there. Then I can delete those lines. I won't need them once I get going. The other way that we could do this um, is with the offset command, which you've used in your previous problem. Um, I could just draw a line from anywhere and go across, oh, I'm going to go about 100 millimeters. And then I'll draw a line up and go some distance. Well, my first two circles go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Circle by diameter. Uh, first one has a diameter of 28. That's the outer circle. Second one has a diameter of diameter of uh, 14. There's those first two circles. I just stuck those there so I'd know where to go. I need to go up 63, so I'm going to offset, and I'm just going to type an O. You can click the button up here, but uh, keyboard sh shortcuts are much faster. Um, so offset 63. Pick that line and click above. Then we're going to offset uh, 76. Pick that line and click to the right. Now. I could draw two new circles up here, or I could copy them. So I'll go ahead and show you the copy command. It's right up here. I'll click on copy, and let's zoom up just a little bit more. I'll pick the two circles and hit enter. It says, uh, where do you want to start? Where's the base point? I'm going to pick right here. And then my destination will be that intersection right there, because they're both the same size. Now, my third spot, um, different size circles, but let's get there first. So I'm going to offset. Uh, 25 to the right, click and move to the right, again I'll uh, hit enter, and then offset, I'm just going to hit enter to repeat, and we need to come down 53, so I'll put in 53 for my distance, and there's that center point, be careful with these other lines here, that's the center point we're after, so I want to circle by diameter, with a diameter of 45, and a circle by diameter, we'll click up there, with a diameter of 22. All right, I have all my circles. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of almost all these lines because I really don't need them anymore, and they're kind of in the way. All right, I'm leaving this line here because it's going to have a purpose in just a minute. All right, um, next up, uh, I'm going to put the key seat in this circle, that little notch that's in the circle. And so I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line uh, from this intersection down. And I'm going to offset that over 24. So O for offset, 24. Oops, sorry. There we go. Pan that up just a little bit. And then the width of the key seat is 6 millimeters. So I'm going to offset 3. 
we'll go three up, three down. Um, show you another technique you might not have done yet. I'm going to click on that line to grip it, and I can grab that grip point and take it straight up. Make sure you get in that little intersection snap. I could even pull that one up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trim it off. So we're going to trim. That's TR, or come up here and click on trim. And we'll just start snipping. There we go. Now I can just erase this geometry. Don't need it anymore. Okay. Then uh, we have to put our tangent, tangent, radiate arcs in. So uh, radius arcs in. So tangent, tangent, radius circles. I'm going to go tangent here, tangent here, radius of 71. I'm going to click on that button again. If I hit enter to repeat, it uses the default circle command, which is center radius. So to repeat that setting, you have to come up here and click. Uh, we'll go inside here to inside here at 40. And one more inside here to inside here at 100. We'll trim again. Hit enter to make everything a boundary and we'll just snap those three circles off. All right, finally we want to center mark this thing to make it beautiful. So uh, I'm going to switch to the center layer. Okay, do that first, otherwise it's a lot of work to fix it. Um, and then we'll use the center mark tool. Pick the outside circle. Anytime you have concentric circles, the center mark has to pass beyond the edges of the outside circle. Um, center mark and center mark. And we're done. There you have it. All right, I'm going to close this. And now the second assignment that's in the book, um, go find that, 101-07. Um, and pause if you need to. And then uh, I'm going to draw that part. It is an inch part. So I'm going to click on the new and we're going to do an inch laser template. And this is a circular part. So I'm going to start with a circle here. Center diameter. Um, be very careful. It's a common mistake on this assignment for students to put everything in as a radius because you forget. Um, the values that they give you are diameters, so be very careful. Center diameter. I'm just going to click in the middle of space here and put in a diameter for the outside circle of 5 inches. I'm going to zoom up as big as I can go here with my very narrow screen. I'm going to do another circle. Uh, at the center of this circle, I'm going to touch the outside edge. You can see the center point lights up with a diameter of 1.25. That's an inside circle. Now, on that problem, there are two circles that are center circles. So I'm going to draw those next. So I'm going to switch to the center layer first, just for convenience. And we're going to do a diameter circle. Uh, with a diameter here of 3 inches, that's the inner one. And then we'll do a diameter circle from the same center point with a diameter of 3.75. And that gives me those two circles. I'm going to uh, go ahead right now and center mark this circle. So that I have that center mark there because that's going to come in handy for us. And now we're ready to construct some geometry. Well, if you look at the assignment, um, you'll notice there's a slot here. There's another one here. There's another one here. There's another one down here. No sense in creating all four. We're just going to create one. And then there are four circles at 45 degrees. Um, and again, we're just going to make one of them. And then we're going to use the array command. And we're going to pattern those to the other locations. So I'm just going to work in this quadrant here. So I'm actually going to zoom up and a little bit bigger. And we're going to work right in this quadrant here. All right, let's get the circle in first. I'm going to do a line from the center point, And I need to go at 45 degrees. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you a, a trick here if you haven't done this yet. Um, I can lock my cursor to a particular angle. So down here at the line prompt, 
I'm going to put in the angle bracket and then 45 and hit enter. Oops, I hit the wrong button there. Let's try that again. Angle 45 and hit enter. And now as I move my cursor, no matter where I take my cursor, the line is locked at 45 degrees. I want to go up um, pretty close to the edge, but not on the edge. I want to go right about there. I want to leave a gap in there. Um, and now I can draw my circle. I can switch to the object layer. And I'll draw my circle from that intersection with a diameter of 0.5. And there's the circle. Notice the center line goes beyond the circle. Maybe a hair far, but we'll leave it like that. Now I want to put the slot in, so I'm going to draw a circle. Uh, it's going to have a diameter of a half an inch from this intersection. So we're going to put in 0.5 again. And then I need to draw the two lines for the side of the, side of the slot. I'm going to go to line and I need to go to quadrant and I need to pick the top surface there and take it over to the edge. We'll go enter, enter, and then I'll go quadrant, bottom edge, out to the, okay. Now I need to trim this loop away, so we're going to go to the trim tool. I'm going to go ahead and pick my two cutting edges and hit enter, and then I'll just click on that piece of the circle and away it goes. I'll go ahead and trim, I should have done it while I was there, trim away those two pieces while I'm at it. All right, now we have all the geometry we need for this quadrant, and we just need to duplicate it. So we're going to do an array. So I'll come up here, and uh, we'll pull down and get to circular or polar array. It's asking me to select objects down here, so I'm going to pick the pieces of the slot and the circle and the center line that I created for that circle. I'm going to hit Enter and now it wants a center point. I'm going to click on the circle here. You can see the center points lighting up. Well, it's making lots of copies for me here, which I don't want. So we want four items at 90 degrees for the total of 360. And the pattern looks good. So I'm going to hit close array. And now let's zoom out and have a look here looks pretty good. I just need to do some trimming. So we're going to go to the trim tool. I'll just hit enter and we'll snip out these pieces. To finish our part. And that's the look we want with the finished part. Again for center marks, uh, we'll be pretty fussy about center marks. The large center mark for the outside circle extends beyond the diameter. And we have a center line, a radial center line going through. Um, no need to have it way out here. Just needs to get about an eighth of an inch past the edge of that circle for each one of those circles. While I have this up, I will make one comment. Um, this circular pattern, these, these holes, and the circular pattern for the slots were dimensioned with a, uh, with a circle. It's a radial pattern. So the center marks have to look like this. Um, it's a common mistake for students to center mark this problem. You delete all that. To center mark this problem with the center mark tool. So let me do that um, so you can see what I'm talking about. That's a very common mistake that students uh, that have maybe had some AutoCAD experience and some drawing experience um, think they can just use the center mark tool and pop all these center marks in. This is absolutely incorrect and there's a reason for that. It's not just because I'm being fussy. Um, if you center mark it this way, what you're indicating is that these holes were located with rectangular dimensions. For instance, that the dimensions were placed so that this hole was positioned with a Y distance and an x distance to locate its position. So when you put in 
a horizontal vertical center line like that, you're telling the reader of the drawing that that, coordinate, that location was found in a rectangular way, not in a circular way. So center marking this assignment this way is, is incorrect because these were not located in a rectangular pattern. They were located in circular patterns. So your center mark has to be a circle with radial spokes coming from the center. Okay, So I don't want to see this uh, in your assignment. All right, there we have it. There's uh, 6 and 7 uh, from our Drafting 101 class. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.